Hello, everybody. <laughs> Didn't know what to say. Welcome oh, to Whiskey uh, Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Diba. And um, what are we doing? Uh, the adverts are playing. Hmm, skip ads. <laughs> we have got, I think Lucky said, uh, Lucky said, I'll be driving. Let's see what, what's the chat. I'll be driving when you start. Okay, Lucky. Well, don't worry. We'll still be drinking when you get here, hopefully. Let me clear that. Welcome to our blind tasting, where we are working our way through what is now 120 bottles that um, since we added more after the last session. Each week, someone gets to pick one of the bottles based on whether you can guess what we're drinking. So whoever guesses correctly <laughs> can pick the next bottle. And um, I should start the timer. Let's get the timer going. Where is our timer button? We've got 12 minutes to try and work out what this is. Let's do a little bit of pouring so that you can see what we're up against. Actually, I'm going to add the water to this one because I'm going to take it down by a lot, about half. Let's see what that looks like. And while we're Having a little look at that. Let's have a look at the ABV shake test. Ooh. <laughs> now, big bubbles that, uh, 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 that disappear fast. Now the bubble size, if we go to something else, here's, here's what 56% looks like. See the way that froth hangs around? Now, if we go to 66% uh, Stag Junior, let me make a little bit more space here. Oh, that's very similar, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> so, are we in bourbon land? Yes, we are. We think we are. And uh, on Emily Glass, I'm getting more smith. Then put the whiskey. You're getting it. more out of the empty glass now. I'm able to when step you, in. When you say flavors. empty, you mean the whiskey no. was poured in and then taken out. It's a good way to to get a full blast of the vapors. Now it has to be said, we have not done well with bourbons. Um, we we haven't we. I mean, we're pretty lost in scotches, but we're getting better. Bourbons, we are totally lost. And we also haven't rated them that highly. Our shelf ranking is, these are the ones we've enjoyed the most. And then going down and going down, and then these are the ones we've enjoyed less. And then there's others which haven't even made it on the shelf. So when bourbon comes up, we're always a bit like, oh, uh, don't know what to do, and are we going to like it? So we'll see. Okay, who is in the chat? You go ahead and, actually, let's have a taste, and then we'll go to the chat. I'm going to try the fully water down one first. I don't have to water down. Uh, okay. In fact, why don't you just try this? So that's going to be cut in half. So if it's even if it's it's still going to be in the 30s, probably. It's probably still 30 something percent. What do you think? It's beautiful with the water. It's wow, that's still punchy. Ah, oh, let me go again. Have I got I, the one with water? Do water down. Amazing. Mm. For those in the chat, um, let me paste in, uh, here's a link. If you want to browse the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet contains all of the bottles that are currently in blind tasting. And today I have ordered it by region because pretty much we are going to be in the USA section and these beige orangey ones are going to be the potential bourbons. 45%, 45, 45, I don't think so, going up. Well, actually Rebel Yell and High West have only just been put in, so it can't be those. Old Ezra, Booker's, Blanton's, Elijah Craig and Lot 40 can't be in as well, so I think it's only going to be one of four, isn't it? Mm, yeah. So I think we're looking at 
Old Ezra Brooks, 15 year old. Booker's kitchen table. Blanton straight from the barrel from Australia. Or Elijah Craig. Well, um, I mean, they're all good, aren't they? <laughs> I just can't believe how strong the watered down version is. Have you tried a full taste? Full sip? No, that was the last episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. The end of the last episode. Daddy, a sugar caramel corn. A lot of sugar caramel corn. It's perfumed, but it's very subtle. It would be funny if it wasn't a bourbon, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, let me have a look in the chat, see if I'm missing. And a, a touch of lemon. Are you getting lemon? Um, it's me. I, I haven't concentrated that hard yet. Let me see. Anuj is in. Triquette is in. Jules. Gabriel. Hey, Jules is from Scotland. Cheers. Uh, Mark's in. Moronic. Tony. Flat Scruff. Matt. Aware of Kwame. Hey, Melissa. Uh, Bishop Burnboy, bourbon? Yes, it is. I'm just going to quickly scroll down. Greg's in. I'm bound to miss people. Roman B. ECBP. Roman's Roman's in for an early guest with Elijah Craig barrel proof, and it definitely could be. Lucas is in. Ah, uh, Melissa, bourbon, right up your alley. Yes, you are a bourbon fan. We have yet to be converted. Hmm. Dram Bam is in. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to scroll down. Anything else? Melissa Blanton, Australia. Yeah, well, Blanton straight from the barrel is, um, I think it is being released in the US now, but amazingly, it was a, it is common. Blanton's is easy to get in Australia. And we picked one up when we were visiting a friend uh, for his wedding. All right. Whiskey Jason's in. Cheers, Whiskey Jason. It's Old not, Ezra Brooks. Uh, uh, mm. then I'm out of Maybe shut it up, but more of dynamo. Let me see. I'm going to go full power, but with water in my mouth. It's pretty deep, isn't it? It has a depth to it. Now but I'm getting um, a stress and finish. But it's beautiful and it's showing throughout. Now, there's always the woodiness of, you know, virgin oak in a bourbon. But no, no, I swear it's not bitter. I've pulled out, I've pulled out, um, oh yeah, I meant to check. Do you get the, do you, you get the equivalent of scotch mist in a bourbon? You don't seem to, do you? That is very clear. That's the one I poured 50% water into. I mean, if that was... If that was a single malt, that would have gone cloudy. Do bourbons not go cloudy? Hmm. Oh, good night from Portugal. Atlantic beers. <laughs> Anthony can't wait to see what this is. Brianne. Hi, everyone. I think, uh, Whiskey Jason, I think I got this tip from you. Where you, if you're having a very strong cask strength whiskey and you don't want to dilute the whiskey yet, you do this instead. Mmm. Mmm. It really helps spread the flavor uh, most through, you, your, through your mouth. I mean, I did have some notes. I'm not getting any other flavor. It's all a very soft, soft mellow. I put that sugar, that I've got in my I mean, it has the coconut and vanilla. Obviously, it's woody <laughs> coconut vanilla woody but am i getting anything else very static a touch of venom a touch of aniseed a touch of earth but it's mostly sucker sunday evening scotch phil i think the blanton's gold that is getting a u.s release oh you're right i don't believe the current plans are um straight from the barrel right it's the gold not the straight from the barrel but, but enough of the banner ah Thank you, false gruff. <laughs> false gruff. What does it mean, false gruff? <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, I'll forget next time. False gruff. <laughs> Let's see. The mash and drum. Hey, oh, Jason's in. Oh, nice. Uh, you've arrived at the right time because we need some help, Jason. 
Here's what I've pulled up. I've pulled up some 1920 Old Forester, which is one that we enjoyed a lot. We've got three minutes to go. Just to compare the noses to see, can I separate that something out? Down. No, full strength Old Forester 1920. I've had to put a little label on just so I don't get any mixed up. Old Forester's mm, 58 or 57. 57. Okay, this is this is like a deeper, richer, a bit more towards the leathery armchair side on today's. And the old forester has a slightly lighter citrus about it. I think I'm going to try a taste of each. See if I can get my bearings at all. Hmm. Old forester. It is slightly citrusy by comparison. Sort of lemon rind on top of the the other bourbon flavours. I thought I was going to ask something for the lemon stress. Yeah, I just said lemon rind. Mm. You didn't hear me? No. Hmm. And um, quite a bit of spice if I don't and, take the water. Um, it's less sweet. Less sweet, more savoury. And more water down. Okay. Can you get this one? Is this a concentrated sugar? Mmm. Mmm. Bit too much. Bit too much power. And um, it also has a assistant fried finish. It's better though, isn't it? This one is better than the old Forester, nineteen twenty. I prefer mm. the more. There's, there's a, hang on, let me try and work out why. I'm um, so in, it's very beautifully integrated. I have no complaint. Maybe it's a bit too sweet for me. I mean, it still has a little bit of the, sort of the green flavours, which I think are maybe from the virgin oak. Mm hmm. It's not particularly sweet. It's not like massively sweet. No, no. It's kind of a savoury, woody vanilla coconut. That could be any bourbon, couldn't it? I know, we're a bit rubbish at bourbons. Let's see. Uh, Falsgraf. <clears throat> it's a nickname. Long story. Derived from the medieval masters of the places where the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire came to stay for a while with his court. That is a long story. Oh, time's up. <laughs> we got to guess. Go. Hang on, let's go to the spreadsheet. Final guesses. Oh, hang on. We don't want to, we don't want to uh, change anything. So, it's high. Booker's, Blanton's, Elijah Craig. Possibly old Ezra Brooks, but I think the ABV is higher. Booker's, Blanton's, or Elijah Craig. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Booker's, Blanton's, or Elijah Craig, or Ezra. Let me see. Booker's. I'm glad you forgot if you put Where's the Blanton's? Booker's, Blanton's, Elijah Craig. Or, or old Ezra. <sighs> what are we thinking? I know we haven't really given very much uh, information. Mash and drum. If you're getting some earthy, leathery profiles, you could be looking at something over 10 years old. Elijah Craig definitely has some earthy notes, sometimes an old wild turkey. Oh, I see. I'm not getting almond. Oh, I haven't read that comment. Uh, Graham Fraser, evening all. Late because I won drams in the local live stream. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh, hang on, it's just jumped. Gabriel is with ECBP. I'm it not was getting Booker's. Almond. Oh, it was Booker's that opened me up to bourbon. The almonds. Matter, I'm not getting almonds. Deepa's not getting almonds. It's more of a caramel. Sunday evening scotch is sticking with the Blantons. 
Jace made a good point with ECBP. Yeah, if Deepa is getting almonds, I would guess Booker's or EC. Oh, but not almonds. So this, um, in case you wanna, want to know this, Elijah Craig, I believe that's C916, I think. 68% even. And uh, yes, it was bought at the end of 2018. What did you know about this? Come on, paint it up. Oh yeah, I didn't do a painting, Caleb. Is that what you meant? No time for paintings today. Still on Blanterns, Elijah Craig Barrowproof, C196. That one is an 18 year, right? No, this is just 12. Is it? Jason, there's no reason that this would be an 18 year, is there? Finished from 12 years of aging, it says on the back. It's pretty straightforward. I got this. I think it's higher proof than Old Forester. Um, I don't know anything about that. Which one are you choosing? Okay, Deep is going for ECBP. I'll go for Blanton's. <clears throat> Can I have some more? Uh, yeah, have that. Here we go. Just a circle with different kinds of nuts for a bourbon, Caleb. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Oh, false graphs going with old Ezra. Here we go. ABV. 64%. Oh, it cost 107. It's from Kentucky. It's a Blanton's. Hang on. Yes, it is Blanton's straight from the barrel. Um, fantastic. Hang on, I get some fireworks. Who else gets fireworks? Where's my fireworks button? Yay, I get fireworks. We get fireworks. Who was the first to shout out uh, Blanton's? <laughs> uh, this is one that we got from Australia for a friend's wedding. Actually, I should get the bottle so that we can find the actual details of it. Uh, you, you try and work out who said the name. Meanwhile, let me, let me give you a little movie intermission of when we used to be able to go to whiskey shops. A couple of minutes and then we'll be back. Palo Alto, fine wines and spirits. It's a great place. Let's go look. Those ones are mine. We'll have a look at the top shelf. It's good stuff up there. Let's have a look.
We better go. We're late for uh, friends. Alright, let's go. Is. <laughs> Magic. So, which one did we get? Did you enjoy our little trip around the Palo Alto fine wines? It's been a while since we were there. That was about a year ago. Uh, let's see. Here is the actual bottle. So it's quite an old one now. 64.9% from barrel number 34, Warehouse H on Rick number 46. Has anyone ever been there? Let's clear that. It is a nice looking bottle, isn't it? You can see why it's iconic. People will understand that that's a Blanton's from a, a far away distance. I remember we bought the first oh, people. We never did the shelf position. I think considering, uh, considering Old Forester is something we put at as the highest. Oh, smelling quite nice now, the old forester. It's got a little bit of uh, honey coming out of it. Ah. Oh. False graft, what were you saying? Certainly one of the Blantons I've tasted that are closer to my taste. I don't easily warm to bourbon, I have to admit. And we have struggled with it. It's such a bold flavour. Um, don't get me don't get me wrong. I love good bourbon, says Caleb, but lightly because I love peanuts. <laughs> uh, wild Turkey 101 is fine, but Wild Turkey have better offerings, and we still have to taste one. We have some in our blind tasting. You know you're into whiskey when you can ID bottles in these shop videos. <laughs> That's right, Graham. Um, we had bottles before we left the country. And it's so fast to go airport. This no. This is the one that we oh, actually bought at Dan oh, Murphy's. I see the button we bought at that airport. We bought that Blanton's at the airport going out, oh. but then we left it with our friend, and then we ended up buying this one and bringing it oh, back. Oh, I see. Um, King Jack uh, kept thinking I'd buy that, I'd buy that, and that, and that. Yeah, I know that problem, King Jack. Melissa, you might be disappointed. Oh no, sorry, I've missed a comment earlier up. Have any Scotch fans tried Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend? Hmm, I've seen it in the shop, but I haven't tried it. Lucky. Phil, on that video, I think I saw a Michter's 20 year. That is really uh, rare. And that video is about a year old, but I remember looking in the, if it was in the glass cabinet, there were some very high prices in that shop in Palo Alto. You know, Palo Alto is just a few miles from Apple and Google and Facebook and all of those. <laughs> uh, Lucas is saying, it's just amazing that Ugadal is still safely up there in the top 10 among all those $100 heavyweights. <laughs> it's true. We're so biased. So I would say, where would we put Blanton's on the shelf? Um, yes, I think it's better than Johnny Walker Green Label. I don't know why Johnny Walker's still up there. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, would you, would you rather have this or Glendronach 18? I prefer this. I think it's going up there. We'll have a, we'll have an after show reshuffle, but mm. I think we're going to squeeze it. I think it's the first Blanton's to make it to our, um, the first bourbon to make it to our top shelf. Now, our top shelf, it doesn't mean to say it's the best or anything. It's just what we've enjoyed the most. And obviously, Isla Barley is a relatively simple whiskey, but we just enjoy it a lot. <sighs> well, I think we're almost at the end of today's. Oh, hang on. So who picked first? We've got a oh, new bottle. Oh, from Sandy Ivory Dutch. Michael. I think you picked, you, no, early on. Oh no, that was ECBP. So Michael, I think it is you. A king. Sunday evening scotch. Top shelf, bottom shelf, 
deeper side, fill side, or center. Pick us a bottle for next week. It's going to be number, um, what are we up to? It's going to be number 75, 76 after Lucky's pick. And then we'll give you a little preview. I suppose the first bottle of the surf. What's top? What is our most favorite bottle? I think I think on Tuesday, Tuesday night, we'll do a little shelf rundown because a few people have been asking, can we just talk through the shelf? Oh, can't really see that, can you? Maybe if I put it here, out of focus. Glen Talkers is a 21 year independent bottle. Um, ex bourbon barrel, relatively simple flavors, but it was just a lovely integrated pineapple like whiskey. Far at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom, sir. Far with the bottom side. Okay, all the way over there somewhere. I'm, I've got the uh, I've got the glass cam ready. Oh, to the very end. Right, Deep has gone into the far corner. This is going to be, what number did I say? We have to go blind. Go ahead. 76, and I'll just put Sunday evening scotch on here. <laughs> oh. Right, are we ready to see what we're going to get? Now we'll do the full- the green glass. Yeah. We will do this one on Sunday. Oh, well, doesn't look like a bourbon, does it? Hmm. <laughs> Let me oh, check. I think that two thousand seven and a party is all over Dallas. If you want, you get them to us. Oh, really? Two thousand seven wasn't popular in Dallas. Well, Alan, I'm waiting to see if I've ordered the right <laughs> Isla Barley. Otherwise, we might be back in touch. Have you tried it? Pick one up if it's not too expensive. <laughs> okay, let's let's do a last uh, check through um, the comments. In fact, you should uh, you should. Why don't you have a sip while I check the comments? Lucas is having a red breast twelve. Nice. Blanton seems to be. Uh, to me what Dalmore is in Scotch. Oh no, that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> False graph. Uh, something for the people who like to pay for prestige. Oh, I see. Well, I don't know. I think if you buy Blanton's at a normal price, it's perfectly fine. It's just that the, the prices are heavily inflated. Um, falsely inflated, I think. Uh, Jules really wants to try an Angel's Envy. Let's see. I think everything, have we caught up? Sunday evening scratch saying it does look like one of our independent bottles. Ex bourbon, yeah. Well, I think I'm uh, $46 for $46. Alan, $46 picked one up at your recommendation. Well, I hope you like it. And if you don't, you know that, <laughs> to quote Roy, we'll buy it off you. Get a little air into this. Okay, ready to say goodbye? We will be back on Sunday. Sunday at one. I see you at all. Where we will be investigating number 76. <laughs>